growing a white tomato was about as weird as growing a green one for me because I was a little unsure of what was uh, ripe and what wasn't. But as I was watching them, um, they, of course they start out green like any other tomato and then they kind of go to a pretty bright white color and they stay that way for quite a while. And then as I got to notice, and I noticed some of them were starting to get just a little bit of an off-white color, and I think that's what it looks like when they're ripe, I'm hoping. But anyway, I've got a couple of them here. Um, I had a lot of trouble with uh, insects eating the fruit on these, and the weird thing is they were eating the fruit on the far side next to the fence, so I didn't realize it until a lot of damage was done. But I've got a, a couple here, and this one here is really ugly, and I'm going to use that one for the taste test. It's even got a little split right there. But I'm going to cut into that, and we're going to taste it and see what it tastes like, and I'm going to save this one for us to enjoy later. So let's get right with it. I'm going to kind of try to cut it down the middle and see what it looks like inside. It's going to have a core in it. I can feel that right now. kind of a off-white color inside too. And most of the meat is towards the outside here, so I'm going to cut a piece of that off and give it a little taste test. Smell it first. It smells tomatoey. Mm, that's surprising. Uh, it's got a real good red tomato taste even though it's a white tomato. It's uh, got a real good flavor. I like it. Yeah, that's that's got some real good flavor never tasted one before right now and it's got real good taste I'm hoping we get some more later they stopped uh, setting on a lot like uh, some of our bigger tomatoes these are more of a I'd call them a medium-sized tomato That's very good. I like them. Um, I only grew the one plant, so I don't know if that's a good way to judge a tomato by the performance of one plant, but I like the taste of it. It's different. You know, it might be worth a try for folks. Um, I think I might give it another chance next year unless something else catches my interest between now and then. Uh, it didn't really get a fair shake because of all the early heat we had here. Uh, it makes it hard, harder for them to set on when it's in the, you know, mid-90s or so. So, uh, overall I'd say it's a decent tomato and tastes pretty good. But uh, I was a little disappointed in the looks of some of them. Kind of, they were kind of ugly, of course. Uh, I didn't have a whole lot of them to look at. A lot of them were cat-faced. But I'm looking forward to tasting that next one now and finishing this one off. I just wanted to share how this one uh, tasted for folks who might have been wondering about it. It's been kind of back there by itself, minding its own business. But overall it's done pretty well. After I finished the video and cleaned the plate up and threw away what little was left of uh, the tomato, I got to thinking that some folks, since I just did a taste test on the Aunt Ruby's German Green, I thought some folks might be interested in what I think comparing the two. So I would say overall, 
I like the qualities and how it performs in the garden, the size and all of that stuff. I think the Aunt Ruby's German Green perform better in our garden and I like it overall better than the White Tomasol. But as far as just flavor, I like the White Tomasol better, if that tells you anything. But it's a real, really good taste in tomato. But if you just take out the taste factor and compare everything else, I like the Aunt Ruby's German Green better. And if you haven't seen the taste test on the Aunt Ruby's German Green, I'll go ahead and put a link right about now so you can take a look at that if you want. But I'm really uh, enjoying all the taste tests I'm getting to do and BLTs and too bad for Tanya, but she was asleep when I did the video on the white one, so she didn't get to taste it. That's the way it goes sometimes. Unfortunate for her. But anyway, that's what I think of the two compared to each other. And again, if you're just finding this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Otherwise, like, comment, and share. We'll see you next time.